headed to the house of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? Got to be careful not to get spotted. The legendary shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying. All the years I've lived on Kefalonia, I never realized the mighty Odysseus' palace was here.
Alexios, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Mistheus. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyus. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me Drachmi. He's not good for business. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is their own. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? If I had a boat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under, exactly? Kefalonia. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis.
I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakes sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Alexios. I'm Odessa, named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca? I'm the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. They'll keep a sharp watch here. This is it? It's just rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Well, 
Do you? Well, this is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there, ruled there. He ended the Trojan War, eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. cute right now, as if nothing can get in your way. I don't usually like being called cute. In time, you'll learn to love all the things I have to tell you. You seem so certain. I've had lots of success in the past. I'm sure you have. So, what do you think? I think I was in a much poorer mood before now. There's just so much I desire. To be as great as Odysseus. Where do I even begin? Odysseus didn't want to go to war. And once it was over, it took him ten years to get home. He wasted years of his life, all because the gods interfered. Stay home. Spend time with your family. Live your own life. But who will remember my story then? Would you rather be remembered? Or happy. Hmm. I'll have to give that some thought. Thank you.
Vamos, go! Ella. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What will it take for you to part with her? <laughs> Couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. Not sure if this helps. But rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. 
That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. So I can take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Come on. Off we go now. Come on! <laughs> Careful. Don't want to be caught here. Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. as my witness, I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? <laughs> all of them, I swear, all of them! I have never heard so much fucking God talk from one man in all my days. <gasps> Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Did it hurt your feelings? Don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I don't. But you're so fat. I mean, big, strong. You really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it?
go get it. Rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. My Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to hear you. And thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Alexios, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. <laughs> and you just happened to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home, but I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. It? What did you see? The sea god commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. So you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. Where is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it.
Seeing as I saved your ship and your life, I'd say you owe me. Mind of a Mystios. You know who you remind me of? Me. <laughs> a much younger me, of course, before I found my true purpose and lost my eye. You're changing the subject. Ah, yes. My apologies. You're right. I owe you my life. What could humble Varnavas do for the mighty Alexius? I need the ship and the crew. <laughs> of course you do. So that's a yes. My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia! We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Alexios. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home. I would if it meant staying with you. You can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. Besides, I love Kina to play with, since you saved her. Go easy on her. She may still be shaky with the fever. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Alexios! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. <sighs> All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. 
Oh, will I ever miss you, Alexios? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Alexios want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got 
The perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right there. Let's get moving. Welcome back. Let's see how the sails go. Rowers, go! More speed! I lost a couple good men in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little Drachmi should sweeten the deal. So, you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine, I promise you. Let's That's go! The island. You need to be cautious. The crow 
I should send Icarus up to get the lay of the land. He'll spot me. That's my target. Ready oars for docking. Hiring sailors, and I'll pay more than you've ever made. You'll make a worthy addition to the crew. I got you. Good! 
He'll be a valuable asset to the crew. Will he be enough? Don't worry. There'll be plenty of opportunities to recruit more people as we go. Something tells me we're going to need them. We should set a course for Megaris. A long voyage can be relaxing, but we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything... Would be of interest to a daring captain. Ready to set sail. Nice to have you back. Maximum speed. Ship the oars. Growing speed.
what I've heard, they have Isis hope to the fiercest fighting so far. The Spartans are preparing for a final push to rid the region of Athenians. Master! That's moving! Go! Can't go any faster, Commander! More speed! We're at full speed! Faster! Keep going at this speed! The Athenian dog Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. If Nicolaus is your father, I guess that makes you my brother. Did you take a blow to the head during battle? What are you talking about? The wolf is my father, as well as yours. Ridiculous. Before he adopted me into his home, he had two children. And they both died in Sparta many years ago. Except for the one standing before you now. You almost fooled me. But I wasn't born yesterday, Mystios. Let's stick to the subject of why you're here. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. I've come to meet the wolf of Sparta. <laughs> you cannot simply meet with Nikolaos. He has command of the entire Spartan army. If you truly came all this way to meet him, you might be disappointed. Are you sure you're in charge here? You don't strike me as a typical Spartan. Perhaps it's best if I just talk with Nikolaus. A sense of humor is not a trait I see being useful for a Celso. If you're here to undrach me, though, I could make use of a capable mercenary. 
The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. Your father, who is he exactly? Nikolaos, the wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy and took me under his wing. He trained me himself and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the underworld. How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the wolf's command, we shall be victorious. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. I'll help you rid Megaris of Athenians for a price. Typical of your type. No honor or sense of duty. But your skills are better serving us than our enemy. The Athenians already have a mercenary working for them. They don't need more help. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need of your skills. Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. What supplies should I destroy? Anything the Athenians need. Look for crates of supplies and weapons. The port of Nicaea in the valley of King Lelech would be a good place to start. It's where their supplies come into the region. This chest you want me to steal, why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Drachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nikolaos. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. Close to the wolf. I'll have to help Stentor defeat the Athenians. I shouldn't waste any time. Thanks for sharing. But we didn't hear it from apparently we don't like you talking about.